This golf lesson is going to help your striking, help your direction. You can use it with a driver or an iron. And often a comment in the comment section, can I use it with a driver and iron? Yes, this is a golf swing basic that will allow you to strike the ball better with both clubs because it's going to enable better shoulder turns and tilts. Let me show you what I mean. So hopefully by now I've done lots of videos that you've seen. Uh, I'm talking about amateurs having quite shoulder level shoulder turns as they come down and through which encourages these kind of club paths where the club wants to come this way. They tend to either lean back and crash the club or keep going it and down. Whatever it is, they tend to get very this way on the way through where what we see with really good players is much more shoulder tilt as we come through. And this is why you're probably used to seeing these kind of images on telly and in magazines where amateurs we see kind of these breakdown kind of impacts where we do see these kind of messes rather than these lovely released follow throughs. So the more I get students feeling that they tilt their shoulders as they come through, the more you get them to understand that their shoulder turn is built in with big tilts as well. I just find golfers striking the ball way better. I find the golfers take curvature off so they slice their driver less, they hit their irons straighter. It's a golf swing lesson that helps so many golfers redefine how they hit the golf ball, which is just a positive. So I've got this simple drill that I'm using with amateurs day in, day out, and it like transforms their feeling. So what I want you to do is get yourself set up to a golf ball. And I want you to do, like with all drills, I do like a right and a wrong. So first of all, I want you to set yourself up to the golf ball and I want you to take your trail hand off. So my right hand, put it by your right thigh in this kind of clapping position. And what I want you to do is to move it under the club and towards your lead foot and lead leg and out towards the left here. And just feel yourself turning as you come through. Watch how that makes me get quite level, quite rounded and open up with my shoulders and definitely a good way of encouraging this action. Now, when you do this, if this feels quite natural, this is what we need to fix. This is your fault. And the way you're going to fix it is do a similar idea with the drill, but we're going to move the hand in a different position. This time, setting up to the ball, same idea with trail hand. So just take trail hand off, clapping position down by trail thigh here. And what I want you to do is just pass over the head or over the grip of the shaft here and get your trail arm coming across your body as you stay down with the ball. Feel your shoulders just turning a little bit. Feel it coming across your forearm and feel how that starts now getting you way more tilted on the way through. As you do it, don't be afraid to let your hips tilt as well as they rotate. So when I go this way, I feel like everything just wants to turn. Good players are tilting hips and shoulders as they come through to get into these tilted positions. So trail hand off, just passing it through, trying to extend it as far as you can while the lead hand stays and you're gonna find this is those positions that are gonna enable you to make strikes like this with in turn directional ideas that allow you to get rid of the big cuts and get that ball going more out towards the target. Now grab your driver. Now I'm not gonna hit a shot here because I'm halfway at the fairway, but grab your driver, same idea, set up to the ball trail, hand off, same feelings. Remember to do it wrong. So come this way across your body, feel how that gets you turning this way. And then same ideas with your driver coming over as it comes back across your lead arm, again, you're going to feel these kind of feelings. These feelings are what's going to help your club path, helps your club path, might help your face, definitely could help your strike, which will help your direction. Same ideas with this drill, but just a variation to give you a bit more usability if the first way feels a little too abstract. Set up to the ball, I've just got a medium iron and I'm going to place the club out in front of me. So I've got my hands outside my lead foot, club is halfway between parallel and the ground. Now I'm going to drop trail hand off back into this right thigh position, so my trail thigh. And all I'm going to do is pass my hand up to the grip here while letting my trail shoulder go down. So I'm literally just grabbing that follow through. Again, let's do this wrong. Let's get your club lead hand over uh, lead foot and the club kind of more in towards me. So not out. So I've just hinged it in towards me now try and grab that club see how i have to go much more around with my shoulders to get that path working both of these drills are fantastic for getting you to feel more tilt with your shoulders to allow you to push that club out towards target push those shots out towards target and start ripping drivers and irons now if you want to improve this swing a little bit more with the ideas of tilting your shoulders this video here is going to show you how pros and amateurs really don't compare on this kind of follow through position and need to start it'll just push this idea on a bit more if you want to learn more about it watch this one